So today's video is going to be about my thoughts of the NR200 case, including the idea of, well, build quality and my thoughts on it, how to install the fans in terms of for best airflow for what you're doing. However, it's your build. This is my build. And so this is what I'm going to go through. So the NR200 versus the N case M1 are very similar in size with some separation in sizing. However, the one thing that makes the NR200, well, a bit better is you can fit larger graphics cards. And of course, it's a little bit wider. And of course, it has filtration throughout this case versus only a side filter on the N, N case M1, making the NR200 from Cooler Master a much better value. But why would I wanna go backwards from this small thing? This N case M1, about 313 millimeters, max length, 330 millimeters. This graphics card is about 323 millimeters. So NR200, you're the one up for battle. And of course the Vell case, well, I believe you're limited to about 298 millimeters. So making a small computer is a no-no go. So having the N case M1 and then our 200 side by side, you can definitely tell they did not take any inspiration from each other in design. Definitely has no similarity here and here. You can see this one has squares, that one doesn't. Well, it has a lot of room for fitting your products in here especially a graphics card, and that's why I didn't have to get this case, because it can fit a 2070, 2080. It actually has a big opening, actually making it simple to slide through and back in. Very, very simple to install a large graphics card. An efficient design for fans. Top, out, in, this way, towards my CPU cooler. Depends if you have a tower cooler or a top-down cooler. If you have an over-the-side cooler, you may, may, Want that 90 millimeter fan? Of course, look how restricted that is. A top-down design is actually very efficient for cooling in this particular case. Because you got room. You got room for your fans in the right direction for where you want that airflow. Let's say if you have a tower cooler, you might want to put your cooling fan this side, blowing in so your tower cooler can blow this way and probably out the back. And using the side bracket, with a bigger fan to create positive pressure. Positive pressure will mean, well, I'll show you in a moment why you want positive pressure. It might be only specific cases. I can see, of course, how there's lots of airflow, how it could cause a flutter, especially if there's air turbulence. But it's just something that someone mentioned, and well, I'm gonna show you how to modify it. Here's the comparison. The original. How do you solve that? Well. Most, for the most part. I'm just gonna use that foam door trim. So what I did is I put it across here. Of course, I left the weight here so you can see what I did, how long I put it. I didn't put it all the way so it can still hold. But I noticed here in the middle, it bagged out a little bit more. So I put an extra piece here and here. Hear the difference? Because you, the viewer, even if it's one person, you all matter. So if you know I'm getting something, comment about it and hey i could add that to the next video so if you're going to go with an air cooler you can choose whatever you like i'm using the be quiet shadow rock lp that's my current cooler in here i have the shadow rock tf2 actually on order to place inside this case because well why not get better cooling if i have a big case for it and i've been wanting to try the cooler for ages so it's about time how about an all-in-one cooler? Well, you could fit a 240 millimeter, you can fit a 280. Heck, this is a, right now, is a 140 millimeter fan. So the NR200 is a much larger case than I intended to get. At 18.25 liters capacity, it is quite large. Of course, if you have RGB lighting like this, it could look actually decent, considering it's not plexiglass. They do have a plexiglass option. However, you're gonna be choking off your airflow. I'd recommend this case. It's up to you if you're looking for something bigger or smaller. But the value proposition here, 
is pretty darn good if you're looking for something with a lot of room where you can actually have a high-end gaming system. Thank you for watching. Until next time, have yourselves a wonderful day. This is not BIOS Tech and Hardware. On the top of the case itself, it's a little stiffer, but it's not completely stiff. So how might you fix this? Well, we can see right here, there's a covering. So if you happen to actually go underneath and stick something like this foam that has a sticky side underneath that, say, so insulation foam, for instance, that you'd uh, insulate between your doorways or whatnot, and stick underneath here, you can fix that part. Just gonna make sure it's thin. So if I flex this now, there's no noise other than this right here, which will normally be attached to your case, so you shouldn't hear anything. So you shouldn't get any more of this little noise that's happening when you flex your case. But if you can see, you can't really see where I put the foam. But if I look underneath here, I can see just there and there. And the side here, here, and here just underneath. So that's very hard to see.